So what makes this nozzle so special? Well, you can see right at the tip there, it's actually diamond. And diamond being the hardest material known to man, okay, other than carbon nanotubes, but I haven't seen any carbon nanotube print nozzles. That means this is capable of printing just about any material out there that your printer supports. Well, as you know, some materials are more abrasive to print with than others. For example, wood PLA. This is entirely printed out of a wood infill PLA material that has real wood fibers in it. Now, because of the wood fiber, you can go through a brass nozzle in about one roll of this material. If your hot end can get hot enough to melt it, it can probably go through this nozzle. And so in this case, it can print things like nylon, carbon fiber reinforced materials, and obviously things like wood PLA, even that nasty glow in the dark stuff that usually goes through a brass nozzle in just a few minutes. And when your brass nozzles wear out, they leave strings and globs and all kinds of other artifacts on the 3D prints that are less than desirable. The other cool thing about this is being diamond tipped, it should be the last nozzle you have to buy for your printer. This should outlast the printer itself. Now I ended up buying this because I rarely swap out my nozzles. In fact, I've been running the same 0.4 millimeter nozzle for probably three years now. And you should swap them out every three to six months as they start to wear out. And as you can see, I've been printing quite a bit with things like Iron Man over there. So I've definitely had my printer nozzle on there far too long. Let's see what the process is to swap this in and do a couple of test prints. And so what you're gonna need is an adjustable wrench and then a seven millimeter socket. And we're gonna start by taking off a couple of these bolts out with an Allen wrench that hold the fan on the front. And then we're gonna take out this screw over here as well. Now you don't have to take these off, but it gives you a little bit better access to the heat core. The next thing we need to do is actually tell the printer to preheat. So we need to turn up the temperature on the nozzle in order to get the existing nozzle out. So we're gonna to go to settings, temperature, and then you can see nozzle. We'll go ahead and just start cranking this up with the dial. And there we go. Now we wait a few minutes. Once the nozzle's up to temperature, we're ready to get started. Then take your socket and place it over the print nozzle and make sure it's set to loosen instead of tighten. Now simultaneously, you have to hold the heat block in place. Now it's important to note there are a couple of wires on the side of the heat block and you wanna make sure that your pliers aren't actually breaking those wires. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to replace the whole heat block, which I've done. All right, so that didn't exactly go as planned. As I said in the instructions for doing this, be really careful with those wires on the side of the heat block. I ended up actually destroying those wires and it caused me to have to rebuild the entire hot end. Instead of a five minute job to replace a nozzle, it turns into two or three hours to completely rebuild everything. Now we're ready to actually get some prints going. And behold, it's our first test print. And I'm trying these new organic supports that are available in Prusa Slicer 2.6. And this one actually just fell off. You can see these look kind of cool. That The support kind of comes up here and touches on the head. It almost looks like tree branches are kind of grabbing this guy and holding him captive. It's kind of a neat look. And I, I almost don't want to remove these, but we will pop these off. <laughs> Those are so easy to remove. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, this big one on the front. Oh, if you've ever done a 3D print like this, just imagine the supports for these, these extra pieces here or inside there, inside the face. So hold this, this bridge that goes over the top would have been such a pain to try and get tweezers or something inside of there in order to remove those supports. I mean, I couldn't even imagine doing that, but instead, with these organic supports, it was just one little piece touching the very top of the hat, the head there. That's, that's mind blowing. That's so much easier. And I've got to say, so this model was printed at 0.1 millimeter. So this is a pretty small, highly detailed print. 
and you can't see any layer lines really. For an FDM print, this is about as good as it gets. I'm really happy with that. These other supports just fly right off. That's so crazy. I mean, so far I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this nozzle. It came through and it did exactly what I'd hope it would do. I'm gonna print some more abrasive materials with this, maybe some carbon, definitely some wood infill PLA that I've got laying around. And uh, we'll see how it stands up to the test of time, but so far so good. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see anything else with this. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time.